Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today I'm going to discuss the question given a binary tree you have to tell if it's a binary search tree or not. A binary tree is a regular tree with zero, one or two nodes while binary search tree is a special kind of binary tree where left is less than root and right is greater than root. The first thought which comes to your mind to solve this problem is why not check for every node if it is greater than its left and less than its right. Let's see if that works or not. So 10 is greater than 0 and 10 is less than 25 so 10 is good so we check for 0 0 is greater than minus 1 it's less than 21 so 0 is good these are leaf nodes so 25 25 is greater than 16 and less than 32 so it seems like it's a binary search tree but it's not because 21 is greater than 10 and so 21 cannot be on the left side of 10 so this approach does not work let's see an approach which actually works so the way it works is we start with a, we have a range for every node and we see if this node is in this range or not. So let's have minus infinity and infinity for root. Again in code we'll replace this with integer min and integer max. So 10 is in the range of minus infinity to infinity. So when, it, when we go to 10's left, we say that everything on the left should be less than 10. So the upper bound when we go on the left side is the roots uh, value. So 10 is going to say that my left u should be between minus infinity and 10 because 10 is the upper bound here and everything on left should be less than 10. 0 is between minus infinity and 10. So 0 goes to its left and says that your upper bound should be minus infinity and 0 and minus 1 is in this range. So this returns true to 0. When it goes on the right side it says that this should be the lower bound and the upper bound should be the one coming from the top. So 0 sends 0 as a lower bound and 10 as the upper bound. So 21 is not between 0 and 10. So this return false and this should return false here and this is not a binary search tree. Let's see how this works for a tree which was actually a binary search tree. So minus infinity and infinity. Again 10 is in the range of minus infinity to infinity. So it goes to its left and uh, it says that your upper bound is between minus infinity to 10 because everything on the left of 10 should be less than 10, less than or equal to 10. So minus 10 is in this range minus infinity and 10. So it follows the property. So it goes to its left and says your range is minus infinity and minus 10 because minus 10 is a value here and going on the left it should, that should be the upper bound. Minus 20 is between minus infinity and minus 10. So this returns true here. Then minus 10 goes on the right side and says that the upper bound here should be minus 10 and the lower bound here should be minus 10 and the upper bound is what the upper bound we got from the top. So 0 is between minus 10 and 10. So 0 also returns true. So 10 gets minus 10 gets true from both its left and right. So it knows that all its child follows the BSD property. So it returns true here. So 10 got true from its left side and knows that left side is a binary search tree. And now it's trying to see if the right subtree is a binary search tree or not. So when it goes on right, it says that the lower bound is 10 because everything on the right side of 10 should be greater than 10 and the upper bound is infinity. 19 is between 10 and infinity. So 19 is fine. So 19 goes to 17 and says that your lower bound is 10 is the lower bound I got while your upper bound is 19 because everything on the left of 19 should be less than 19. 17 is between 10 and 19. So 17 returns true and 19 also returns true. So 10 gets true from both its left and right. So 10 returns true to the calling function saying that I am a BST. What is the time it takes to execute this problem? O of n because we are looking at every node in the tree. Next, next let's look at the code for this algorithm. So this is the code for is BST. Uh, as you can see, it's a recursive function. It returns true if the subtree at, rooted at this root is a BST and if it, it returns false if the subtree rooted at this root is not a binary search tree. Here I have also handled duplicates. So we assume that if the number is less than or equal to root, it goes on the left side and if the number is greater than root, then it goes on the right side. So let's see how this works. 
Initially, my root is 10, my minimum is minus infinity, and my max is infinity. Minus infinity and infinity are very small and very big numbers. So root is not null, so it goes in here. Root data is greater than infinity, and root data is less than, root data is greater than minus infinity, and root data is less than infinity, so it doesn't go into this if, so it comes here. So we say is BST root left. So we go to, we go to 10's left, which is 10 again. And we pass minimum as the same minimum as we 10 got, so minus infinity, and root data as a maximum, so 10. So again, root is not, so now the new root is this 10. Root is not null. Root data is uh, greater than minus infinity, and root data is less than 10, because it's equal to 10. So it doesn't go into this if condition. So it goes into another recursion with 10's left, which is minus 5. And minimum is again the minimum it got in its function, so minus infinity, and the maximum is 10, its data. So our new root is minus 5, it got minimum minus infinity and 10. Root is, uh, root is uh, not null, it is, root data is greater than minus infinity, and root data is less than 10, so it doesn't go into this if condition. Then we are saying is BST root left. So minus 5's left is null, and we pass minus infinity and five, minus 5 to this guy. So root data is null, so it gets a true from the left. So minus 5 gets true from the left, and then goes into the root right, root data and uh, max. Again root right, so minus 5's right is null, so it again gets a true from its right side. So minus 5 gets true from both its left and right. So this and this is true. So it returns true to 10. So 10 gets a true from left side and its right is null. So it, it, it passes null to the as a root. Again, root is null, it returns true. So 10's right also returns true. So 10 gets true from both left and right. So then it returns true to other, the root 10, its parent 10. So this 10 gets a true from its left side. It means that its left side is a BST. So now it tries to explore its right side and see if that is a BST or not. So then we executed this part, so we are going to execute this part. So 10's right is root dot right, so that's 19. Root data, so that's 10 and that's a minimum, and max is infinity. Again, since 10 is going on the right side, it's saying that the lower bound is the root data, so 10, and the upper bound is whatever 10's upper bound was. So new root is 19, 19 is not null, 19 is uh, greater than min, and 19 is less than max, less than equal to max, so it doesn't go into this if condition. It 19 goes into its own recursion, so root dot left, so 19's left is 17. 17 gets a minimum, 19's minimum, so 10. And it gets 19's root data, so 19 as a max. So we go here, 17 is uh, not null, 17 is greater than min and it's less than equal to max. So it doesn't go into this if loop, if condition, so it comes here. And 17 goes to its left, which is null. So it gets true from its left side because of this condition. And similarly, 17 gets true from its right. So 17 gets true from both its left and right. So it returns true to 19. So 19 gets true from its left side and 19 then go to its right. So 19's right is 21, root dot right. And then lower bound to right is 19, and upper bound is 19's upper bound, uh, 19's max, so that's infinity. So now new root is 21, 21 is not null, 21 is greater than minimum, and 21 is less than or equal to max, so it doesn't go here. So 21 goes to its left, and that will return true, and 21 will go to its right, and that will return true. So 21 gets true from both left and right, so 21 returns true to the calling function, so so 19, 19 gets a true from 21. 
So 19 got true from its left and right, so it's going to return true to 10. And uh, 10 got true from both its left and right, so it's going to return true to the calling function, uh, saying that this is a BST. If you want to check out the full solution for this problem, go to my GitHub link, github.com mission piece interview wiki. And if you want to check out similar questions, go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com user to 2525. Thanks for watching this video.